me, if I was a vendor mm. located in some obscure corner in Tiptoe Lane, mm. I can register multiple SIMs. Yeah. yeah the, thing, the, the thing is... How, though? Hmm? How? Because we're syncing it with your Ghana card. And you're taking the person's bio data. So, biometrics, literally. Okay. At the time so that you are buying then? the SIM, uh -huh. do we have any verification process that identifies that... The same card that I bought at, let's say, an MTN, uh, how do they call it? The, the center, the, let's yeah, say, down here. Yeah. Just at Ring Road. Yeah. And if I go and buy somewhere at the mall, mm. can they verify, let's say, at the same time that I went to buy at Ring Road yesterday and today I'm buying at, at the, the mall. Accra Shopping Mall today? So if I have my ID card, mm -hmm. I can buy multiple SIMs. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. You, so beyond what Kofi Adoma is even explaining, yeah. there's the possibility for one person to buy multiple SIMs. And if that one person is not the holder of that Ghana card, mm -hmm. that Ghana card is able to register many people. It's a very simple thing. My point then is, every time you register, they have to take your biometrics, right? To where? To where? No, they have to. Uh, even when you I use know, the phone. But where do they take it to? The system belongs to Ministry of Communication, NCA. So, aren't they the one supposed to check and okay. ensure that if anybody is syncing their Ghana card with their SIM card, it should match the biometrics, which is why they gave us undue pressure to well, go and queue. Which just is to the register logical SIMs. thing that we're expecting. But we know that we'll get to this point because it's not the first time we've undertaken SIM registration in this country for the very purpose for which we did that last year for the very reasons why many people, thousands of people did queue ultimately from their various locations and now had to come and converge for weeks at the Awak Sports Stadium. Because if you have your Ghana card, even as an individual, you can do multiple registrations. Yeah. Now, it comes to a period where when the communication and the system is still not in place, yeah that is the laxity or there's a certain vacuum, we go to hibernation. The SIM card acquisition is done through various uh, third parties yeah. of the telecom yeah. agencies. Yeah. Do you understand? So at some point in time where we were going to come back to um, hibernation or, 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 or come to remote mood. So then how and, does and it fight the issue there? of criminality? Because that's the whole reason so the why they were forcing us I, to go I, and I, giving I, us deadlines. I, I, I guess we'll come in because somebody's ID card is, has been used for a certain registration. So I get picked up for something and then it's after the embarrassment it and everything that the that police will find out. one day one of us could be picked up. Yeah. It is very much it's, possible. I mean, how do we allow this to happen? 10 SIM cards registered to someone's Ghana card when he has no idea about it. And it was only because he wanted to register another, because I think you have a limit of 10 or 5 or so um, SIM cards that you can sync with your Ghana card. So he was going to register a new one, and that is when they told him that he had exceeded the number of Ghana cards, uh, well, um, SIMs that he could register. Hooray. So a lot of us are sitting here thinking that the system is robust. We've registered our Ghana cards because everybody said we should. Oh, Bella. And now, no, but I'm, I'm just Bella, worried Bella, Bella, about it. Bella. No, honestly, Roland. Okay, so let's, let's do this. Short. I was taken aback when I heard that because I was hoping that for once a system would work. So, Bella, let's do the short analysis. You and I know that there was a dispute mm -hmm. at the time between mm -hmm. the National Identification Authority and the and Ministry the of Communication Ministry, because yes. there was a leaked document that mm -hmm. did indicate that the Identification Authority did say that if you wanted to have the data of those who are holding numbers yeah. or have acquired numbers, yeah. you can just come to our place and take the numbers and take the data. It's a very simple issue. So the question was raised mm -hmm. by various stakeholders. The data that was being collected by the Ministry of Communication through its agencies or yeah. assigns, yeah. through the, the mobile telephonic companies, where was the data being stored? Yeah. How is it being preserved? or what is being done with that data. And we had multiple press conferences, hmm. various dates of postponements, mm -hmm. and we've come to this point because we knew that we have one verifiable institution that had collected data of Ghanaians. And these same data of Ghanaians, or Ghanaians who have those data at the National Identification Authority, were holders of various SIMs. So if you want my biometrics or other data beyond what I need yeah. 
to indicate that I'm a holder of a mobile um, mm -hmm. SIM or, mm -hmm. or, or, or a number, you just have to go to the place that I did my registration, take my details. Because you and I went through the process. Yeah. It's the same process. And some of us, even unknowingly, may not have taken cognizance of what Kofi Adoma did indicate. Exactly. But the point is, after the registration process, mm -hmm. all right, mm -hmm. if I want to go and acquire a Ghana card, and here in, I'm telling you about a situation where a friend of mine came from abroad. Mm -hmm. He's not... He doesn't come here very often. Yeah. We all have a funeral. Mm. He calls me with a local number. I said, ah, is this your new local number? From the last time he came, oh, no, I just acquired it. How did he acquire it? My guy lives in the U.S. He doesn't, he have, doesn't have the Ghana card yet. either. Do you understand? He doesn't have the Ghana Maybe card Maybe he yet. borrowed it in the meantime. Yo, I hear. I'm just saying. He said he bought it. He bought it. Eh, but, you know, because the thing, we've done the practice. There's this journalism thing we've been doing it for a year. Nothing changes. So we know. So me, I took it. Me, when somebody calls me and says that my road is not good and those things, I tell them, Master, we've been doing road since, since. Oh. So if you're a road. And right now, we're having an IMF. So if there's no road in your area, forget it. The road not going to come now. So relax. The, the, the thing is, we knew that we would come to this point. And hmm. sometimes, for those who even represent the telecom companies, off record, when we finish recording, they'll tell you, Charlie, these people, the thing they are doing. Yeah, yeah. It's a very it's... simple issue. TV3, or let's say Media General and uh, assigns or subsidiaries, they collect data of various viewers or mm -hmm. listeners. Mm -hmm. So if you want to collect data of viewers Just and listeners. Just go to the institution you go that to the already institution. It's a very it. simple thing. Then we had this back and forth coming. What were they doing with the data? Who was storing it? Which Where is third it being party, stored? Exactly. Which third party? The yeah. very, the Who very has access? The very argument we're making about um, TikTok, Facebook. We're dealing we, with we it. We had yeah. a, whole, a whole chief executive of TikTok appear before a Senate committee. Yeah. To answer questions. Do you understand? Yeah. About data, particulars of data. And this one, of course, we know is uh, a fight between China and the U.S. But at but, least there's but, some accountability. But these are real issues. Yeah. And, and there are conversations about data that we always talk about in relation to some of the terms and conditions that we agree to mm. when we are accessing various websites, or etc. And we haven't even finished that. We collect people's data. Then we're expecting what? I'm disturbed. So, no, don't be disturbed. Belamundi, if somebody has your phone this thing right now. <laughs> Already, do you know that True Caller, mm -hmm. somebody can change your ID? On True Caller? Yes, somebody can just decide because the app makes it suggestive for you to input the ID you know of an individual. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. So it is with, with time, when it keeps you, that you keep using it, then it comes back to to, to, to the regular mode. That, oh, this is Roland Walker calling, etc. And, and all that. So, uh, why well, we I mean, Claire I don't know. Steady, how, Asha won, and me, how when she I was saw the thing from Kofi Adoma, I'm not yeah. saying that it's not alarming, but I'm asking to what end and purpose are we making this argument? Didn't we see it? This thing is a very simple but thing. But it's good that he raised it because now the because NTA, you know, is, is assuring us that oh, they'll please. bring a short they code. Oh, please. They should give us a break. They said they'll bring a short code. So which, let's which, wait which, for this short code so that we can all there was individually an app we use in regist registry. Do you I'm remember that app? I'm even surprised that they're pay, coming with it? a new short code. Yeah, I remember that app. Five even CDs that or something. app, I can tell you for a fact that I oh, had yes. to, you know, go to the, the telco to get someone to do it for me with the app. We stood there for over an hour. It didn't work. It did not work. <laughs> we'll be back. Yeah, so we're making the same argument again about the same cards, etc. But look, at what point in time do you think, realistically, that we're, we're going to get to that point where there's going to be sincerity in our conversations? I, I, because, I you know, know. people's um, information is supposed to be a very vital content mm -hmm. or tool that mm -hmm. you can use for anything. Mm -hmm. It's a very national security issue yeah now here lies the case same card registration had been undertaken before mm -hmm. you have the national identification authority that has collected the data so what kofi adoma did discover is something that we have to ask those who are the intermediaries or yeah. the service um, providers mm. or the third parties who operate with the telecom agencies to tell us 
how is that possible? But that's or why, why it is not possible? But because me, at the time that I was a registry, I knew that we would come to this point. But even some of the people in the telcos didn't know that this was happening. Because per Kofi Adome's narration, he said when he drew their attention to it, the person he spoke to said, oh, I feel kind of mad in Yabasu. That means that there's actually something happening and some of them don't know about it. So how do they stop it when they don't know what's happening in their own home? That's the concern. You remember at the beginning of a period when we wanted to do biometric registrations mm. for voting, a big question was asked of the Electoral Commission then. Yeah. How do you make sure that you stop multiple voting in real time? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you have data or your information in a big database, then you verify. Yeah. So, like the way sometimes they do it on their TV, me, I see in the movies, etc. Their thing will scan. Is that not what they do? Then you come to the point where you get to know that this is the identification, either the fingerprint or the facial yeah. recognition, etc. Hmm. So, we go and register. You, you see, we have a history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the precedent we've set is that, as a people, we collect data in isolation. Yeah. So we, ha we collect data of voters. Then we will not come and put that data down, and then we will scan yes. it mm. to see whether somebody registered in District A or polling station A in District A, and that person cannot be found in District B, yeah. polling station C. After that, then we will yeah. move. What happened to technology that makes you, in real time, verify? Verify, exactly. And this is, uh, and this, uh, there are apps that you run the thing, you scan. There's an app, there's a site mm. currently. Mm. If your, fo well, your photos were published yeah. by various websites, the the app or the website is able to scan in real time yeah. the number of websites where your photos appeared. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, Bella Mundi. Yeah. There are number of websites that have published, whether it's yourself or your social media handle or somebody yeah. else do, uh, yeah. doing a story about you. And when you input your photo on, on that website, it will scan and wherever your picture appeared in the world, mm -hmm. this one not Ghana matter. Yeah. In the world, websites put together by a white man develop mine. They do it. So why are we complaining that this will not happen? But they so that is why we too. ask the question of the Ministry of Communications. Mm. This data that you are collecting that already sits with telecom companies that already so has added NIA. information. Mm. Of the holders of these numbers with the national identification authority why are you collecting, collecting it? again again so this thing adoma is saying is nothing we knew we'll get here we'll do rubber rousing talk talk in one week hmm. hmm if you have a chance please walk into any telco and check how many sim cards are registered with your ghana card just check you know so, so I, uh, my, 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 my big man, Chairman Kojo Daniels, will be asking Roland, what is wrong with this country? You know, he's lived in the States. So <laughs> has he, he moved back here? Oh, yeah, he has, a, he, he has investments here. So sometimes ah. he, he's appalled and sometimes disgusted with some of them. Roland, what's wrong with this country? Me too, I can't speak this. And I say, I don't know, sir. You know some of these things. 500 nurses are leaving the country every oh. month. That's a problem. You anyway, let's cross over now to Johnny's Bites. We'll come back with a big issue. Don't go anywhere.